Being flexible is something that really makes Dundas BI stand out against the competition. Let's talk about different data sources and scenarios and how having a unified and flexible data model can help you solve certain scenarios. I'm Jeff, and this is Off the Charts with Jeff. Dundas BI offers a structure called a data queue, which allows you to prepare data, transform that data, and even store it and add performance as necessary. Let's go through a couple of scenarios and see how a data cube can help you. First of all, do you have data that's changing rapidly? Well, the last thing you want to do if your goal is to have a real-time dashboard is to have data that's stored in a BI system because you're going to lose the ability to do real-time. You want to connect directly to your data source and simply flow it into the dashboard and report that you want to use, potentially providing some calculations on top of the data that you need. So that flexibility is really important. If you have a data source that has a very long query time, but the end result is really small, perhaps you want to warehouse that data using Dundas BI's warehouse capability. What happens is all the calculations and pre-preparation gets stored in the Dundas warehouse, and then we don't have to take time to crunch that query over and over again. If you have unstable data, maybe something coming from a web service or a third-party source, something that goes down rapidly, and every time you open it, there's no guarantee that it's going to work. Using the warehouse again, you can schedule the checking of this data, and Dundas BI will go. It'll see if it's available. If it's not, you'll still have the old version, and it'll keep trying. So what's going to happen is you'll always have a dashboard that's running, regardless of a database that's flimsy. Do you have an OLAP database, or you've already built your own high-powered, high-performance data warehouse? This is similar to the first example of real-time data that I discussed. We don't necessarily have to copy that data into Dundas BI in order to use it. So you have the flexibility to just use it as is and rely on the performance that you're able to provide out of your data source directly. The last thing you want to do is be forced to deal with a BI system that's forcing you to copy all their data into their systems. That's just an overhead you don't need. Are your users using self-service and making a lot of requests to your data source? Well, in a case like this, you may want to leverage the in-memory capabilities of Dundas BI. By doing this, you can have many rapid queries hitting your data, and you don't have to worry about the performance overhead because we don't go back to your data source. These in-memory cubes are built, they're optimized, and they're ready to go. So you can just have your users spamming data requests as much as they need while they do their own discovery and self-service. Do you have a sensitive production database, something that's being used by another system, and you don't want to take any risk of perhaps a BI tool or any other tool bringing down that system by making too many requests to it? Well, in this case, you could either warehouse the calls that you need to build a dashboard, or you could put them in memory. The choice is yours. In memory, obviously has trade-offs in that it's going to be a bit quicker, but then you need a little bit more hardware depending on how much data you want. The warehouse option is just an easy thing that you can just copy various bits of data that you need, and it's ready on the dashboard, and your users don't have to have it constantly refreshing. If you have 10,000 users all looking at the same dashboard, they don't have to hit your other database 10,000 times. They hit Dundas BI, and Dundas BI only hits it once. So you can take that load off of a potentially sensitive data source. In the last example, do you have slow historical data? Maybe something that's not changing very often. Well, again, the in-memory option is something that you may want to look into. Having it directly connected to your data source may take a couple of minutes to refresh, and that may not be a performance standard that you're willing to accept on your dashboards. By putting it in memory and building it on a schedule, everything's created, everything's fast and optimized, and you don't have to worry about the lag coming from your existing database. So as you can see, with the three different data storage types, real-time, warehousing, or in-memory, you have a lot of flexibility so that you can choose whatever tools make sense based on the scenario that you're in. And it's very possible to mix and match these. You may have multiple data sources running into those several scenarios that I just discussed, or you may want to be combining and mix and matching these various approaches on a single dashboard. That's fine. 
Now, if you want to learn more, Dundas offers a great training site called our eLearning, which is going to give you an introduction to data cubes and walk you through how to create these for various scenarios. Definitely worth taking a look. That's it for now. I hope this has been useful for you. And as always, if you'd like to reach out to us, we're always looking for content suggestions and we're always looking for feedback. We'd love to hear from you.